so guys after using this a7s for, for zoom as a webcam for a while i've been doing all my work on zoom using the a7s and the mirror box hdmi capture now while the mirror box is not labeled as a 4k hdmi capture card it does have 4k pass through and i just wanted to test what if since the a7s has 4k out if instead of using the regular 1080p uh, output what if we use the hdmi to output 4k and see if the quality improves a little bit using the hdmi capture and after doing a lot of extensive tests i can say that it does improve the quality quite a bit now for normal average people uh it might not be as noticeable and but for me personally i do see the difference between 1080p and 4k but there are some cons that come with that you see the problem is that the a7s while it can output to 4k you won't be able to record internally to your in the body the camera's sd card while you're outputting to 4k so that's something to keep in mind and of course the purpose of this test is not to record internally in the camera but externally while using zoom i noticed that the, noticed that the video quality is really nice and i actually have gotten a lot of compliments from all my clients saying that hey you know your video looks so amazing so sharp and they've just been impressed by the professional quality and they have seen the difference from using a regular webcam like from your smartphone or tablet now the actual reason why i'm doing this video right now in this test is to see the video quality recording externally using my mac yeah because you know the macs have the movie player that can record whatever your camera sees so since i have an hdmi capture my a7s is outputting 4k with a little bit sharper an image we in a way have a ghetto advanced ninja setup that can record in pro res another advantage of recording externally or actually recording inside your actual editing machine is that all your footage will be already there as you record with the quick time player you could save each clip into your dedicated import folder and then just go straight to editing all the files no need to transfer anything from the sd card well so what do you guys think i've been recording this whole time with my a7s externally inside my hacking touch of course as mentioned before the advantages of shooting externally are plenty you know for editing uh, for actually even monitoring your process like right now i can monitor what i'm actually recording so that's pretty cool but another import import but another important factor for recording with a DSLR as opposed to a webcam in your tablet is the freedom to move about. I, I since I'm using a mirrorless camera, it's really tiny, small, it's very portable. And with a screw mount at the bottom of the camera means I could literally mount this camera anywhere in the desktop. As you have seen, you probably noticed, I threw my camera all over my desk, everywhere, inside where the lenses are, behind the monitor. It doesn't matter where I put the camera, it's gonna fit and it's gonna record great video quality. A7S is just so easy to move around and just record from any angle, anywhere, like literally under the desk or behind the monitor. And uh, speaking, speaking of which, the lenses I'm using to pair with the A7S is this whole time I've been shooting with the 28 millimeter f2 lens. So what I'm recording right now is the Sony 16 mm pancake lens, the f2.8 with the external uh, ultra wide converter. And I'm sh actually shooting in full frame mode. I'm cropping in internally, just using the clear, clear image zoom to crop in my frame a little bit and get rid of the vignetting. And it seems to be doing quite fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick test. Recording, outputting 4K into a 1080p HDMI recorder. Yeah, it seems doable. So if you have an external recorder like myself, 
why don't you give it a shot? You might be surprised by how well it actually records a 4K. So if you guys dig what you just saw, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for future DIYs, how-to videos, tests like these, comparisons. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.